What does the Bible have to say about the lowly ostrich? Well, actually, the Bible teaches about outstretch, outreach, through the lowly ostrich. Let's take a look at it. It should be fun. Why ostriches? Why indeed? Well, Proverbs 30 and 5 say that every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. So I suppose that even these few words about the ostrich in the book of Job should be taken into account. And let's see what God can teach us about the lowly ostrich. There are exactly six verses about ostriches in the Bible. They start at Job 39.13 and end at Job 39.18. They are as follows. Givest thou the goodly wings unto the peacock, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth, and warmeth them in the dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young, as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. Because God has deprived her of wisdom, neither has he imparted to her understanding, that the time... She lifteth up herself on high. She scorneth the horse and his rider. So, to begin with, in Job 39, 13, God begins to talk about the look of the ostrich. Gavest thou the goodly wings unto the peacock, or wings and feathers to the ostrich? The ostrich might be the goofiest bird that God ever created. They have wings, but they cannot fly. And normally, if you look at them carefully, you'll find that they have significant amounts of mange and patches on them. Compared to the peacock, they are quite unattractive. But I believe what God really wants to focus on is their maternal instincts, or maybe more accurately, their lack of maternal instincts. Let's take a look further at Job 39, 14, and see what God has to say. Which leaveth her eggs in the earth, and warmeth them in the dust, and forgetteth that her foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. She is hardened against her young ones, as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. With this verse, I believe the Lord is speaking to the church. You know, when we go to prayer, we are in a private place, and that's where children are born. But yet, the children come to church at some time later, maybe the following Sunday or Wednesday, and we don't even realize that those who are walking through the door are our children. We are hardened against our young. We've put the time and effort to pray and to seek God for growth in your body, in your church body. But yet when God opens that door and allows others to come in, we treat them as though they were not our own. We don't love them. We don't hug on them. We don't follow up with a simple card or a letter. We just let the earth take them back. We allow the earth to warm them, just like this ostrich who goes through the very labor of having this huge egg, and yet her labor is in vain because she doesn't realize that that is her work that she's stepping on, or that that is her work that a wild beast is destroying. Very often, I believe that this is speaking to the church. We need to love those that God sent to us, and we need to realize that if we are praying for growth in our churches, that these people that are coming in are coming in as a result of your prayers that you spent on your knees. We should value them and not let the earth take them back. And now let's finish up with the last three verses that have to do with ostriches. Job 39, 16, 17, and 18 she is hardened against her youngs as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain. Because God has deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted unto her understanding. At what time she lifteth up herself, she scorneth the horse and his rider. You know, the Bible says that my people are defeated for a lack of knowledge. They don't understand that when they pray, things happen in the spiritual realm. And God will bring these people into your house. But will your pride 
be like that of the ostrich, where you'll be so proud that you'll even go against the horse and his rider, the horse that has so much more strength than you. Do you also, are you hardened against the young ones that come in, the new people that are baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost? I think these things need to be examined. And one of the chiefest ways to examine them in the scripture is to take notes from the lowly ostrich. Well, I hope this has been informative to you. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to our next Bible study. God keep you and watch you in Jesus' name.